big, big facts. Yo, I want to piggy bank off for of what Delray Richardson said in his video regarding uh, Yasmin Fula. That's Gaddafi's mother. And um, she seems to be disgruntled. Well, there's issues going on with uh, the two pocket state and Setua is taking them taking them to court so I'm gonna read this right here it says uh, this is her I believe Instagram it says by leaving Tupac's legacy to the usual industry goons Afeni set the stage for incompetence greed and destruction of Tupac's true legacy which is more than pop-up restaurants pop-up museums and sloppy music Wow Where's the love? Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Damn. Now, peep, peep it that Afeni is deceased. <laughs> she talking like this about Tupac's mom. You know, I thought they were friends. But uh, they may have had a falling out, man. Pay attention, people. The true legacy of Tupac... Shakur is justice, equality, land, food, freedom from tyranny, especially corporate owners who steal from artists, depriving families of rightful ownership. Demand justice for Sexua. She seems to be the only family member to challenge the master-slave corporate thievery that exist, exists in the industry. Right on. Spoken like a true Black Panther. You know, it seems to me Afeni's Black Panther views are social economic justice. Shouting power to the people may have gotten diluted over the years. It doesn't seem she had the vision Tupac had regarding what Yasmin is stating in his post. I think she had that vision in her youth, but may have lost that passion a bit. And I can see here that Yasmin is upset with Afeni, even while she's in the grave. Even while she's gone on to the spirit world, where wherever she is. Um, so... That tells me that there probably was some friction in that relationship. You know. Uh, so I think Yasmin looked at Tupac like a son. And you know she, she pretty much her and Afeni raised their boys together. If I'm not mistaken, I think they were married to the same man at one point in time. They had some type of polygamy thing going on. And uh, so, you know, back in the day, they were all close. Young, you know, very passionate. So, yeah, she looked at Tupac like a son, I, I think. Uh, but Tupac fired Yasmin. Uh, Yasmin was, uh, I believe, his personal personal assistant. And according to Frank Alexander's book, uh, Tupac fired her. Uh, Tupac wasn't satisfied. I probably I would go into that to, into more details in that later. But from what I gather from Frank's book. Tupac wasn't satisfied with her and um, he was angry at her about something maybe, I think she maybe may have wasn't handling his business like he wanted it to be handled and so he fired her but regarding what she's saying what she's saying right here I think uh, what's going on here is that 
Yasmin wanted to be in charge of uh, of the Tupac estate, and uh, maybe and maybe bid it on it. Came to Afeni and pleaded for Afeni to let her be in charge of the estate. You know what I'm saying? And Afeni didn't approve. Maybe Afeni didn't trust. Yes, mean to be able to handle, you know, her son's legacy, to be able to handle the, the, the corporate structure, to be able to handle the, the business of her son, um, legacy, you know, I, I believe that, I, you know. I believe she be, because she's she's in that she's in that uh, arena of, of business uh, 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 of handling things. So I think she wanted to be in charge of Tupac's estate, and when Afeni gave it to you know the so-called you know man you know something that in their youth they were against. So I think Yasmin is very disappointed and feel and they kind of feel like betrayed and kind and feels like a finny, you know, lost her way, you know, just like she says in this post. Um, you know, Tupac's legacy is more than pop up restaurants, pop up museums, and, and sloppy music. You know, and then she goes back into what the Black Panthers believed in in, in in their youth when she starts talking about justice, equality, land, freedom, freedom from ty tyranny, corporate owners, and all that. You know? So, yeah, I, I think that's what this stems from, you know, and plus also. She's feeling for Setua because now Setua got to taking them to court over, um, it says right here, uh, thievery. So they might be, they may be cheating Setua out of some finances. And so, yeah, I mean, as some would say, keep it in the family. And I guess Yasmin is disappointed that. Afeni gave it to them folks, didn't keep it in the family. This is not what the Black Panther organization was about. So Afeni lost her way. That's how Yasmin is feeling. And Afeni can't defend herself. Um, Afeni didn't ask to be in charge. You know, this was all brought on, on Afeni, you know. She didn't. Uh, she didn't ask for this, and you can tell she really didn't know too much about Tupac's music. Uh, I don't think she wasn't a fan of Tupac's music. Of, of course, she liked. She liked some of the songs, but I don't. I don't think she. You know, of course, she's probably not gonna be a fan. You know, but that's understandable. You know, she grew up in a different time, in a different era of music. But yeah, man, this is very interesting. Uh, that's it for me, though. Peace.